Oh, it is a bit deep here, isn't it? It's been hard, hard going. The weather's got terrible. I see a state of your gear. I want to see how wet it is. Anyway, we're going to avoid a bog. I think, I think I can do this. Look, all right, so if I step on this middle bit, I'm not gonna make that now. This is the Berwyn. There's supposed to be a crossing here. Uh, I'm not seeing much place where we can actually cross. I don't know what Andy's doing. There he is. I think we're going up there. Look. Plus we can. Blame me for breaking the... Did you break the fall? No, it was already yeah, like that. Right. Nice person, that would be nice. What are the odds, odds of me going in? Uh, I'd say you could be drifting. <laughs> Right, so, <laughs> we're in the Berwins. We're in Wales, in the Berwins. The weather is beautiful. I think you need to tell people where the Berwins are because no one else up I there. said Wales. Okay. I just said we're in Wales, where in the Berwins. Okay, the, the Berwins is uh, south... <laughs> south of nowhere. South East Wales. <laughs> <laughs> no, North North East Wales. Yeah. What's the name of the place? The Berwins. No. The, the, the town we're nearby that you can't pronounce. Loch Langlo. <laughs> yeah. Just pick a Welsh name that starts with LL and it's around there somewhere. Um, so it's near, uh, I can't say this either, Pistol Reddiach Waterfall. I'll, I'll put a pin on a location or something. We're, we're in the Berwins, just, just Google it. Right, anyway. Um, so we are doing a, a, quite a small hike actually. Um, we've parked in the village. And we are going to be doing, apart from traversing loads of bogs, a summit camp on Caliburton. Now I've, I've summit camped on Caliburton a few times, but Andy's never been. And it's actually looking at, it looks like there's snow on the top. So that could be quite good. So we might get a bit of a snowy camp. As you can see, it's just like bogs all over the place. So trying to, trying to get through anything around here is a nightmare. I think it's inevitable at some point that, uh, One of us is going to end up with wet feet. Ah, uh, we are actually yes, we, we no no go on that rock and then jump over here. We'll end up with a wet face. Oh come on, this is pathetic. And I'll tell you what, it is bloody freezing. It's the end of uh, March, and yeah, it's absolutely freezing. The wind chill tonight is supposed to be about minus eight. Uh, so, yeah. Whew. Got the lips, but have we got the touch? 
Don't get me wrong, ladies, I think you're all right. <laughs> keep me warm and then we to love it, man. I don't oppress me much. Uh, 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 uh. <laughs> that's where we're heading, up there. So that's Cadder Berwyn up, up there. Um, and then I know there's a camping spot in that kind of dip there. So you've got the Snowdonia mountain range over here. Which I think will probably be a little busier than these mountain ranges. <laughs> Oh, so we're, we're uh, currently deep walking in this, which is absolutely energy sapping. It's really annoying. It's taken us ages to get anywhere. Still got to go all the way up there, so we've still got quite a way to, to hike to get to the summit of Caterpillar. Connect. Look at that! Come on! <laughs> what the hell? Look at this! This guy's a fucking giant! Look at that! What size feet are that? I'm like 10, so that's a size 20. <laughs> it's double the size of mine. Jesus Christ. There's a trick point. Any way sketchy and snowy, I think we should camp here. So we're just deciding where to, to whether to do here, pitch here, which is quite windy, obviously, or we could go down to the tarn, which is down here. Um, there's two routes down to, to the tarn. There's down there, but it's quite sketchy, so I'm, I don't think we're going to going to do that. Or we go down here. Uh, not going to happen. I can't make it down that. And the path goes uh, down and around, and then. My boots and are too slippy for that. See, you see far. the path here, look. So the path goes along there, then down there, and then down, and then... Nah, we'll and be then... halfway down and be dark. Let's uh, go, I, let's go. I don't know whether it will be dark, but... And then we've got to go the pitch, so... Me and, me and Pete kind of pitch just down there. On that side. Yeah. There's a single pitch down there. But yeah, uh, it, looks, it looks windy as hell down there. Look at it the is. water. It's coming that way. It's not going to be any better. I think it's a wind, going to be a wind trap down there anyway. I think we set up now because we don't have. Is your tent going to be okay? I don't know. <laughs> 
Okay. So we've made the decision that we're gonna we're gonna try and get these tents pitched. Um, which should be interesting. So let's see how we get on. to ground pegs. Wow. What do they do? Keep your tent secure. I've never <laughs> I haven't used them yet. <laughs> I hope they work. Well, the tents have got to go this way. Yeah, yeah. How are you doing? I can't feel my hands on my feet. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Apart from that, right. <laughs> oh, this is mental. It's a real proper test for the tent, that's for sure. Oh, it's starting to get really cold now. It takes a lot of energy doing this. Oh god, it's windy. It's windy, my hands are frozen. Let's get my hands warm. Let's get my hands warm, but... I'm going to get set up and uh, just secure this tent a bit more and then uh, have a beer and something to eat because I'm absolutely starving. And uh, my hands are cold. Oh, right. Finally set up. Andy's got his tent set up. Um, the wind was horrendous while we were trying to put the tents up, but we both we both managed okay. Um, and the tents uh, seem fine at the moment. Um, the, the wind is it kind of it's coming in gusts, so I think because we're, we're in a bit of a dip here, up on either side of the summit, either side. Uh, you can really you can hear the wind and it's just it's just horrendous. There's no way we'll be able to camp up there. Uh, so here's a, it's a little bit easier and uh, I think the last two times I've camped here it's a better place because um, it seems the wind doesn't doesn't quite catch in this part because it's kind of in a dip. But you do get gusts, so you keep getting really heavy gusts. And uh, I think earlier the winds must have been an easy 40 miles an hour. What what do you reckon the winds were earlier? At the top. Yeah. 50, 50. Uh, look at the top there, about 50. It was we were being blown over. You know, we, 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 we were struggling to walk in straight line. So they were whatever you want to class them as, 40, 50. Um, don't know, but they were brutal. Down here, I think we keep getting gusts of probably around 30. Uh, maybe the odd one of 40, I think. Uh, but um, it's not. Been, the thing is, it's just not a, a consistent battering, which is which is good. I'm dying for a beer, so that is what I am doing next. I am opening an ultra phase because I need one. Cheers. Um, for dinner tonight actually looks looks quite quite good. I bought one of these pots. Um, I don't know who's by. I don't know who makes it. Uh, Tai Tai I don't know whether that's the name of the that's the name of the brand or the I suppose it is sweet, sweet chili sweet chili chicken rice bowl. So I can just have that cold. 
and that looks, looks quite nice. I'm going to have that. And then I've got loads of snacks, so and obviously got hot toddies for later as well. Obviously, the winds change direction. It's coming from the other side. Right, adventure outside. This side of the tent's getting a bit of a battering. If I go to sleep, I'll try and pick this out a little bit. Um, so I've got, uh, I've got some delta ground anchors in, which uh, seem to be doing a good job. And I've double pegged as well. So I pegged this part here by the pole uh, just to give it an extra bit of, bit of support. So, I mean, these, these aren't coming out. The first thing that'll go will either be the pole or the, the fabric of grip. That's doing fine. Guide these out. I could. No. I could. <laughs> that big edge should just just here. I'm not going to get any closer to it. Game in it. Yeah. It's mostly that wind chill. It's uh, that wind chill is just brutal. It really is. It's uh, which out the wind is not too bad. I mean, it's still it's still cold. I think. The air temperature is about zero, but um, yeah, it's um, that wind. I think it's like minus eight or something. So it's just go straight through. You can't stay out there for long at all. That wind's really howling. I'm sure, if it comes across on camera, but really howling. I have to say the tent's doing absolutely amazing. Um, this tent is amazing. It's a credit to um, the manufacturer Slingfin. It's a credit to Paul Mesner. Um, because go outside and look at this thing's not moving. Uh, it hasn't budged at all. Poles aren't bowing in or anything. Well, I have to say. I'm well, I have to say I'm quite impressed with uh, Andy's uh, cloud cloud up. It's um, I mean you can see the poles bending in, but you would you would um, that's something that you would expect. Um, but it, it's it's nothing's collapsed, nothing's buckled, nothing's broken yet. Um, are, you, are you feeling quite comfortable in there, Andy? Yes, it's freezing. Yeah, it's freezing. Can't wait for some warmer weather, honestly. Ugh. Right, I think, I think it's time for a hot toddy. Yeah, I think so too. Yeah. yeah. Paul Messner on the phone. I don't know why he's obsessed with Paul Messner all of a sudden. I haven't bought anything to measure the brandy out in though, so we're just going to have to do it by eye. Use the cap, well, what, 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 what's the cap? The cap is a measure. <laughs> what's a measure? A measure of brandy. Yeah. How many measures are you supposed to put in it? 
We're supposed to put 50 mil. Yeah, that's two cap. <laughs> okay. We'll put, the law. We'll put, the two, law. put two caps in them. The it's law. quite a big cap. <laughs> Do you want a glass of Listerine? No. You can have one. Save, no. save your hot toddy. Great. Um. This is a. This is uh Brandy's aged three. This Brandy's aged three years. Yeah. Yeah. Aged and bottled in France. Nice. Fancy French Brandy. Six pound ninety nine. Paul Messner drink. Banging on my tent. Open your hole. I'm not hoping in my hole. No, don't mess about with it. Open your hole. Stick my cup through it. You're not sticking your cup through my hole. Go on, open your hole, big boy. You're not st sticking... Open it up. You're not sticking your cup through my hole. No, I've got a cup for you. Bring it around here. I know, because that might be No, because it takes me ages to open it and No, it, it won't. It's got a fucking tie on it. No. Open, right, I'll leave the cup there. Well, there we do. You're the one that's not going to have a hot toddy then. No, you're not. Well, no. I, I am, because I'm the one No, you're not, because that's rude, and you're not a rude man. Stop me banging in. on my tent. Let me in! Oh, I hate you. I hate you as well. You sound like my daughter. Not like my daughter. <laughs> non existent. Yes. You're not very tender anymore. No. Got a bottle of meth, so we should just drink that. Yeah, have that in the Listerine. <laughs> yeah. The Listerine can flavour it. Yeah. <clears throat> Where's your cup? Yes, I'm bringing it. <laughs> oh, I literally just got my toes warm. Oh. What are you doing? Are you stay in your tent or you come around here? Oh, I'll come here. Let me in. <laughs> Let me in. <laughs> Brutalist architecture at its best. Hello. <laughs> Big boys together, isn't it? Yes. Look, boys and girls. I've got a guest. <laughs> we have to blur that out. There you go, drink that. Are you actually... <laughs> yeah, we can do Oh, I didn't the mystery. So, tonight I've got a can of Double Ultra Phase 8 IPA 0.4, which I'm going to drink. Yeah, I would see you drink that. <laughs> no, we can't drink that. No, you've got, you've got so what have you done? You've pre-mixed. You got a, a pot of honey in a bottle, a pot of lemon. Honey and lemon. But you didn't mix them together. The lemon? Yes. And the honey? Yes. Why well, have you got two cups? I'm sure you, what's the meat? Ah. You that you, you measured out perfect? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> when you went with Paul, did you have it all as a, the whole thing as a print mix? Same as this. Yeah. Why didn't you do the whole thing as a print mix? Why don't you do the whole thing as a pre Well, yeah. because then you don't know how much is in what. Why not? What? You just make a big. You just like make a, basically make a bottle of. Yeah, I know, but 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 then you you've got to measure it all out rather what? than just having a, a you've got a portion. In. No, you just put make a portion, but put fill up the bottle. <laughs> it's so much easier. Anyway. I'll tell you what would be easier. Yeah. You just, just go home. Go give your opinion to yourself. <laughs> you make the hot toddies next time. Okay. Everyone's oh, always cr critical. Oh, well, well, the only easier would be the dish. It would be so much easier if you did this. You bloody do it then. Okay. I will next time. Get to make me hot button run. Get like your own tent. <laughs> Can you give Paul Messner a call? Can you call Paul a load?
weather's got terrible. <laughs> but I thought it was like, it's not supposed to be raining and the wind was supposed to be dying off a bit. Well, the wind was supposed to be kind of like about the same, 35 mile an hour gusts. But this is just... These aren't 35 mile an hour gusts, these are heavier. I hope you'll take stuff. <laughs> I'm worried when I can't hear. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. Job well done. Good for another successful World Cup. We <laughs> oh, don't say that fucking the trail. Just jinxed it again. Come back in two hours' time when our tents have fallen over and called Mountain Rescue. He won't come. I think last time. Let's get more lemon. There's less honey in it, but like, I put the green table. I never half the honey in the pot. Yeah, I still put it in the pot. Come on when it gets cold. Stay in the pot. I'm worried I really didn't shut the door on my temple and feel that. Shut it. I thought I would have. So it's neat. Yeah. So that means it's wide open. Right, well, Andy's um, vestibule's open. <laughs> and it's pissed. Well, it's, uh, yes, it's, it's raining. So if you can just listen to it. All this stuff soaked. <laughs> it will be now, yeah. for sure. Right. Good night. Nice to see you. Yes. Oh, fuck it, eh? It's horrible. <laughs> Bye. Bye. Oh. Fucking idiot. Yeah. Oh, no. Is it all soaked? Yeah. 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 What it is? <laughs> Wet. 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 It's a good job you're vegan. Alright, nighty night. Night night. Great for obviously keeping your feet dry, but when you get when you get back outside your tent, if your boots are a little bit wet on the inside, you can pop them on over the, you know, your camping socks, those warm socks, and they stay dry. So uh, yeah, we'll definitely be using them quite a lot, I think. <sighs> I'm <a bit> exhausted. <laughs> Absolutely exhausted. Certainly, these conditions take it out of you. Uh, right, so unless. Look at that. So, unless anything dramatic happens, um, which it, it really might, 
Uh, I'll see you in the morning. Say good night, Andy. Probably can't hear that. sleep and zero REM, uh, which isn't good, <laughs> absolutely, yeah, that's it, got cold last night as well, um, well, that's fine last night, but at early hours of the morning I was quite cold, but anyway, yeah, all good, Andy's already awake, um, wind's, wind's not too bad now, and kept raining, th raining throughout the night, which it wasn't forecast to do. Um, yeah, delightful. Right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go and I'm gonna get up and have a look outside and make a coffee, and then I suppose we'll think about packing up and heading off to this delightful mountain. Go away! Weird man outside my tent. You did not want to go out? Mine's out with this. I did. In the middle of the night. I mean, I didn't. You, you didn't, so you just, yeah, you just, yeah, you just, you just held it. I, mean, I did need one, but I was, I was hanging on this morning for as long as possible. I was just telling Andy I had a bit, a bit of an issue because. Um, um, I'm just talking to, you know, my, my fans. Oh, okay, sorry, fans. Carry on, fans. Only fans. Um, I was just telling Andy that I. Uh, you probably don't want to know this, it's too much information, but. Um, obviously I didn't want to go outside tent for a wee, so um, I used a, a bottle because uh, there's no way I was getting outside in, in the, the rubbish weather. Um, but uh, I obviously didn't screw the, the cap back on properly, so uh, it kind of leaked in my tent. <laughs> uh, not much, but it did leak a little bit. So, uh, no one wants to know that. Nobody, n you're right, nobody wants to know that, but you know. <laughs> No. Nobody wants to watch me camping either, so it doesn't make much difference. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so tired. I had my watch says I had zero deep sleep and zero REM. <laughs> <laughs> what did you do or not? I have no idea. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh yeah, delightful. Yeah. <laughs> Ugh, right. I know why the hot toddy wasn't particularly great. It's because why? it's because the brandy didn't mix with the um, honey. Oh, you mean it was all separate? I think it was all separate. Yeah. That's why. Yeah, I I reckon I know not to bang on about it, but I reckon mixing everything. Uh, I, know you, I know you didn't have the brandy anyway. But I think if you mix it all together to start with, it should work. But what, what do you mean mix it all together to start with? Mix it at home. Yeah. And then just bring it all along in a bottle. Well, that, well that's what I, I, I do. If you said I didn't have the brandy, I wouldn't. Yeah, yeah, no, 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 I know, I know. I know. Well, then why, why you keep harping on about it then? Like you come up with some genius idea or something. <laughs> hold on, hold on a minute. First time it was a genius idea. Yeah, yeah. The first time it, it was well, it wasn't a genius idea. Yes, it was it just was. it was just a, it was just a common sense to be honest. <laughs> Oh, he's grumpy in the morning. Get him. Have a swig of that brandy. I might do. <laughs> Although the bottle smells of piss, so... <laughs> <laughs> You're like a proper homeless person. Brandy and piss. <laughs> <laughs> Ugh, well, I'm going to make a coffee.
supposed to be what? It's be sunny this morning. It's be sunny this morning. What yeah. forecast are you looking at? Um, bullshit forecast. <laughs> I think we have some sunshine outside. Should we go and have a look? It's bloody lovely out here, isn't it? Great. <laughs> I need your cup. Huh? I need your cup. Uh, here. <laughs> Great. You're not going to open your hole for me, are you? I'll open my hole for you. Ah. Oh, <laughs> it's got shit now. Oh, it's a wicked. Wow! Oh! Ah, I've got rain in my eyes. A wicked rainbow over the other side. Don't mind the sick in it. Oh, great. <laughs> oh, what's in that? You <laughs> sick in it? Yes. Vile. Hello. <laughs> That's wicked. A little gun turret. Does it look like the um, the storm's going to pass? There's rainbows and shit. It's snowing. There's no and rain. It's snowing? Snow and rain, yeah. Yeah, it's sleet then. <laughs> no, it's no and rain. Alright. Genuinely snow and rain. Yeah, but isn't that sleet? I think that's sleet. Uh, actually no. Now it's just... Now there's no sun anymore. It's just shit. Right. Yeah. Oh, it's freezing up here. But uh the sun's finally come out, which is nice. So I've camped down at this town before. I've camped uh, on that side uh, once. Oh, there is another, another little spot down there, which is perfect for one tent, and then a spot on the other side as well. <sighs> it's so cold. It's so cold. We're all on the warmer months. Well, I'm going to get uh, I'm going, to start going to start packing the tent up now, and then we're going to head off, go off this freezing cold mountain.
Oh, right then. Right? Yeah, he's gonna get moving. Yeah, he's gonna move him. Freezing cold. Here we were. Yeah, he was brown. Cheers. All good. He's cool. And yeah, there is a great moment here. But I really is it. Very sad. Right, let's hit the road. Sleet says, <laughs> yeah. Right, so we are almost back at the car. Uh, it's nice and peaceful and calm down here. It's even a bit of, a bit of blue sky, which is nice. Um, it's been quite an exhilarating camp, that's for sure. So, thanks for joining me. Thanks for joining Mr. Williams. We're going to say goodbye. We be... As always, stay safe, keep on trekking, and I'll see you in the next one. And then subscribe! And then subscribe, yes. which people do tend to be doing quite frequently. <laughs> Did you go from there or there? No, we're from there. No, no. Uh, I don't know if I can do that. You can do it. This is where the Vivo Barefoots come in, you see. There you go. Uh, just go up there. That's where you went last time, wasn't it?